Welcome back to Impossible Color. Today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the color in your image with style. I'm going to be working in Photoshop today, but the technique that I'm showing you could also be done in Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, and other programs. So if you want to adjust color in an image, you're probably familiar with things like hue and saturation, where you can select individual colors and you can change the hue. But one of the issues is you're not getting your color adjusted on a global scale based on the tonal range, so the lights and darks. So one other way that you may play around with that is working with color balance. And you have three different values you can work with, your shadows, midtones, and highlights. So you get a little bit more flexibility there. Say I wanted to warm up my highlights, go to my shadows, cool those down, and you get something like this. So you get a little bit of control that way. But it's still not the precision that I'd like to work with today. Uh, there's lots of other ways like gradient maps and stuff that give you further control. But today I'm going to be showing you how to work with curves. Now don't be too scared already. I, I, I often hear a lot of people say that they don't like working in curves and I was the same way for many years. But it's actually not too bad once you get down to it. The key thing is that you want to make very subtle changes in curves because it can be really easy to do dramatic things in here and make your image look awful. So you may be familiar with adjusting curves for, uh, for your tones. And basically what you see when you first get in here is a histogram in the background. And this represents uh, all the different tones in your image. So we got quite a few pretty dark uh, tones in the image. So we get this big spread going out here and then it tapers off in the mid tones. And then we got a couple of little peaks, some of these strong highlighted areas. But today we're actually not going to be working uh, with the tones. We're going to be working with, if you do a drop down in here, we're going to be working with the individual color channels. So if we go to the first one, the red, I'm going to make a subtle shift to add some, a little bit of warmth to my shadows. And I'm going to leave the other side as it is. Now you can see uh, the input value of zero. So that means right at the corner and the output, I'm making it go up a little bit to four. Now, I don't normally adjust things too far on the ends because I like to have some blacks in the image and I like to have some whites in the image. So just to give you an idea of what's actually going on here, this represents the dark side of your image. And if I'm on the red channel, by increasing this, we're adding more red to the darks. Or I could add more red to the midtones, or I could add more reds to the highlights. If we moved in the opposite direction, get the opposite of red, cyans. And you can do the same thing. So let's go back to that slightly warm shadows that I wanted. And I'm going to leave that as is. Now there's a different way that you can actually adjust this where you can select uh, this little hand here and you can actually click using this eyedropper that appears right in your image. And if you hold down, you can drag up and down directly in your image if you prefer to work that way. And you can jump back and forth if you ever want to de delete a point, just click on it and click delete. So now I'm going to move on to the green channel. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple by turning down the green in my shadows. And now what these colors are going to be in the direction you go is based on your own personal style. Um, I like 
a little bit more purple in my shadows. So that's the look that I go for. And often when you go in one direction um, for the shadows, it's a good idea to go in the opposite direction sometimes uh, for the highlights. So I'm going to add just a subtle bit of green into the highlights to offset that. And that looks good to me. Again, it doesn't look like I'm doing much of a change at all here. And for the blues, I generally do the most change in the blue channel. And I'm going to click right in the middle. And that will anchor this point right in there. I'm going to change this. If you want to, you can also click in here and just use your arrow keys. And you can go up and down and you don't have to individually type them in. So I'm just making sure that's directly in the middle. And I'm going to drag a little bit of blues into my shadows. And I'm going to create an S curve shape. And this this often looks works really well for your image if you create a nice smooth curve. If you do any kind of dramatic changes in curves, it can look very uh, uh, just too harsh, unless that's the look you're going for. So if I want to do the opposite of the S curve, I'm going to add some yellow, the opposite of blue, to my highlights. Again, I'm going to keep that very subtle. And let's have a look at what that looks like. Now, yeah, just before I turn that on and off, it's important that you work with adjustment layers by clicking this little guy down here and going to curves there. You may be tempted to go up to image adjustment curves where you could do the same thing, but your change is permanent to your image. You can't do anything later on. But with this adjustment layer, you can just double click it, go back and change it at any point you want. So here's the before. Here's the after. I want to go in and change it. Go right ahead. So I had a slight bit more purple. Do my shadows. On and off. And that's how you adjust your color with style using the curves in Photoshop. Again, you can use Lightroom, do the exact same thing or you can use Adobe Camera Raw, and I believe a lot of other programs do the same thing. So I hope you have some fun adding some stylized color to your image. Thanks a lot for watching Impossible Color. If you have any cool tips to add about curves, please add them to the comment section below. And if you have any cool ideas for different videos coming up, uh, for example, if you want to see a gradient map editing of color in Photoshop or anything like that, please let me know. Subscribe by clicking the little green button below and I'll see you next week.